Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Firefly Fiber Art Studio. We're an all natural and eco-conscious yarn shop in Chicago. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to crochet a hat. So we have a basic pattern um, that's great for winter and I'm going to help you guys go through all of it. It's a really beginner friendly hat. It helps you learn a bunch of techniques all in one project. So it's really great. Um, this hat, we are going to learn how to crochet in the round, how to do a foundation double crochet, a front post, back post, rib stitch, a half double and a half double decrease. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but really you can do it. I believe in you um, and I will be there to show you every single step. And so let's get started on this hat. It's gonna be great and fun. So see you guys soon. So first, uh, before we start crocheting, I wanna go over the pattern with you. Um, and this pattern is available for free and I will have the link where you can download it in the description below. Um, I'm just gonna go through this just in case you've never read a pattern before. Um, this pattern will come in handy with the video that I will be doing. Um, it'll have all the details. In the video, I'm really just gonna be showing you how to do everything, um, but then all the details will be here in the pattern. Um, so with most patterns, we have a prerequisite. Um, just mainly saying like, you know, be sure that you know the single and double crochet stitches. Um, it's really gonna help you so that when you are creating this hat, um, you won't be confused about the variations that we're gonna be doing on the single and double crochet stitches. It also gives you the materials. Um, that way you know everything you need before you start your project. So here we have two skeins of bulky yarn. Um, we use Echo View Fiber Mill Ranger Bulky. You'll see that in the video. Um, size J hook, which is a six millimeter. Um, removable stitch markers and a tapestry needle. It also has the gauge. So uh, this is important so that you know if you're close to the designer's gauge so that you know that the size is going to be correct. So my gauge for this hat is 10 half double crochet stitches by 10 rows equals four inches. Um, so while you're making, I would just you know, measure a little bit and make sure you're not way off. If you're way off, then you'll need to change your hook size, depending on if you have too many or too little stitches. I also have two sizes here, small and large. Um, all the large numbers will be in parentheses and any notes for about the pattern. Um, this section is really important um, on any pattern that you're reading because this is where it'll help you with details. Mainly my notes are just that we are crocheting in a spiral. So it's really important that you keep your uh, stitch marker at your beginning of round. Let's flip it over. Okay, so here I have abbreviations for um, my instructions. So if you see something that you don't understand what that is, my abbreviations are right here to help you figure out, oh, the FDC means foundation double crochet. I now see what section I need to be on. Um, I start with my instructions and then I have two different decreases, one for the size small and one for the size large. So um, I'm gonna take you through these instructions um, with you know, crocheting the hat and showing you how to do each section. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started on making this basic crochet hat. Um, and the materials you need is you'll need bulky weight yarn. I'm using Echo View Fiber Mills Ranger Merino yarn. It's a two ply bulky and it has 140 yards on it. So I'll need two of these. A size J crochet hook and a removable stitch marker. You might need a couple of these later. These are always handy, um, but for now we just need one. And this is going to mark our beginning of round when we get to it. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot and just leave enough for a tail that you can weave in. There's our slip knot. We are going to chain three
And then from here, we're gonna start our foundation double crochet stitch. This is different than making a chain um, stitch as the beginning. We're actually gonna be building stitches. Um, and it's really good because it makes the brim a lot stretchier. Um, and if you're making the size small, you're gonna need to do 54 of these stitches. If you're making the size large, you'll need to do 60 of these stitches. So how to make the stitch? You start with your three chains, just like that. And then we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go back into this first stitch. When we go into it, we're gonna make sure and catch that little um, back stitch right there. So when I turn it over, you see this little bump right here? We're gonna make sure to go under that as well. There we go. And then I'm gonna yarn over and come out of the stitch. So I have three loops on my hook, just like that. Then I'm going to make sure I use my working yarn and not the tail. Yarn over, go through just one. So I still have three. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So as you can see, we have our first two stitches right there. All right, so let's build up another stitch. We're going to yarn over and then at the bottom of this stitch right here, the stitch on the right, we're again gonna go through and if you can see it's twisted, see how it's like a figure eight right here? We're gonna go through that and catch, catch that twisted stitch right there. Yarn over, come out. So we have three. Yarn over, just go through the first one. So we still have three. And then we're gonna yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So you can see it's starting to build. We're building up this way, but it's making your band that's gonna be horizontal this way. So let's do that again. So let's find that twisted stitch. Here it is. Do you see this? This is what it looks like, but if we're looking at it right on top, that's your twisted stitch. We're gonna yarn over, go through this twisted stitch, Make sure to catch both sides of the stitch. Yarn over, come out. Yarn over, go just under one. And then we can yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. There it is. You're gonna keep doing this. Like I said, for size small, you're gonna do 54 and size large, you're going to do 60. All right, so if you're having a hard time seeing where to stick your hook in when you're making a new stitch, just remember that we're always gonna go into like that third chain stitch, basically. So that third stitch, so we have, if you're looking at it, we have one, two, and then down here at the bottom is the third one. So we're gonna go in and that's the twisted one. I'll show you again so you can see how to read it. So here I am and I'm like, oh, it's hard to see where that third one is because it, it does slant and it's not exactly box yet. So let's see, I have one One's right up here, right under this one, right here, two right here, and then this is the third one, and it's twisted. It's twi twisted differently than these two, so that's how I can recognize it. And I just go under, yarn over, come out, yarn over just through one, and when you do that yarn over through one, that's the one you're gonna go under in your next stitch. So keep that in mind and then yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So now I have to remember, oh, this is the one that I did, the yarn over through one. So yarn over, gonna go under that one, come out, yarn over through one. So that's the new twisted stitch that I'll put under in the next stitch. 
through two, through two. And just keep going. Okay, so I finished my foundation double crochet. Um, I'm making the size small, so I did 54 stitches. If you're making the size large, then you will have made 60 stitches. And the reason why I have you guys doing this foundation double crochet instead of just a chain stitch is because it's a lot stretchier. Um, the chain stitch can be pretty um, unstretchy. And for a hat, having that stretchy rim, because this is our rim, is really important. So now that I've finished this, I need to join in the round. So what I do is I bring my I bring my hook onto my right hand side and I flip this over and I want to make sure I don't twist this so I don't want it all twisted um, when I join it. So I lay it down flat and I just fold over everything. Make sure everything is straight. There it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join with a slip stitch with the top of this stitch to the top of this stitch. So I'm going to put my hook here, the top of that first chain stitch that we have, yarn over and bring it through. There we go. And that's a slip stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our removable marker and I'm going to put it at the top of that slip stitch. That is going to tell us where our beginning of round is. Because we're going to be working in a spiral, we it will be hard to tell where the beginning of round is. And so having this here, this marker, reminds us, OK, that's our beginning round. So we'll know when we have finished one full round. Um, when you're working in the round, you don't call it a row. You call it a round. Um, so row, round, that's how we're going to tell. So now that we have joined in the round, make sure it's not twisted. There we go. The first step is we're actually going to go, we're going to start our ribbing. And our ribbing here is a front post, back post stitch, and it creates a nice um, textured rib stitch for crocheters. And it's a little bit different, um, but don't worry, I know you guys can do it. So let me show you how to do it. We're going to go into the very first stitch. And what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. So all these stitches is our double crochet stitches. So you need to make sure you always yarn over before you go in your stitch. Then we're going to come around the front. And we're going to push the post of the stitch. So that's why it's called front post. And we're going to go around this. So we're not going to go through the top of the stitch. We're actually going to go around the post. OK, so we're going to yarn over and come out. And then we're going to finish our double crochet like we normally do. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So the next one is a back post stitch. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to yarn over. We're going to put our hook in the back. We're going to bring it to the front. We're going to push that post to the back. See how we're pushing it to the back? And we're going to go around the post in the back. So yarn over, go around the post. And then we're going to finish our double crochet like we normally do. So yarn over through two, yarn over through two. All right, so that is done. So we're going to do front post here. So what we're doing is we're basically creating a one by one rib. Um, it's very common when making hats. OK, so front post, yarn over. We're going to go right here by the post. We're going to push that post to the front. We're going to come out the other side. See how that post is pushed to the front? Yarn over, come out. From around that post, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, just like our other double crochet stitches. 
here's, we just did a front post, here's a back post. So I'm gonna go through the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hook through the back, right there, I'm gonna come out right next to the post. See that hole right there? I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna push this post to the back, just like that. Yarn over, go around, go through two, go through two. You can start to see that texture. The ones that are pushed to the front are popping up and the ones pushed to the back are popping back. There we go, I just did a back, so we're gonna do a front one. Here's a back one, push it to the back. Now, if you ever stop and you're like, oh no, which one did I just do? When you're looking at your stitches, the front ones you notice here, how it's looped around and it's pushing this to the front like that. So I just did a front post and the ones that are pushed to the back are like this. I know that's a back post. So I just did a front post, I need to do a back post. Push it to the back. So we're going to do this for two rounds. Um, I'm going to finish this and then I'll show you guys when you get to the end of round what you need to do to start the next round. I'm at my last stitch. I haven't done it yet. Um, and your last stitch should be a back post, double crochet. So I'm going to finish that off right now. There we go. And then I have my beginning of round. So I'm gonna take that out. And the next row is again a um, front post, back post rib stitch. So I'm going to do my first stitch, which is my front post. And I wanna make sure to go around my front post here. And you wanna make sure that your front post um, stitches are going on top of other front post stitches and your back post stitches are going on top of other back post stitches. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to take my marker and I'm gonna put that in right there, right behind that stitch I just made. So I know that that is my end of round, my end beginning of round for the next round. All right, so I just did a front post, I need to do a back post. And the back posts are kind of hiding in the back, but don't worry about that. You're gonna come through, push it back again, and you're gonna keep going. All right, and at this point, you have enough that you can even try this on. Make sure that it fits you. Um, and it's pretty stretchy. Again, that's what I like about this uh, rib stitch, but also the foundation double crochet is that it is, it's pretty stretchy. And you want it to be a little bit smaller than your head so that it has a nice stretch to it. So we're gonna do one more round of this front post, back post, and then we're gonna switch to a half double crochet. And I will show you guys once I finish this round. Okay, so I just finished my second round of the front post, back post, and here's what it looks like. Um, it's a really nice rib stitch. So we got the front post right here and then the back post right here. Um, and now we are ready to start our half double crochet section. So I'm gonna take this off, set it down. 
Doing a half double crochet, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on the top of our stitches again. So we're not gonna be working around the post like we just did. We're gonna be working just at the top like you normally do. All right. So here is this one. So we're gonna go here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over just like um, a double. So it's called the half double and you'll see why in a second. So we're gonna start off like we're doing a double. We're gonna go into the top of our stitch just like that. Yarn over, we're gonna come out and we have the three loops that we see in our double stitch. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go through all three of those loops. So you're doing half the work for the double stitch. I'll show that again. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna go under, under our bridge, right there, yarn over, come out. So one, two, three, yarn over, go through all three. It's a fast, easy, simple stitch. Um, and it creates a really nice um, texture for hats. So again, yarn over, go under the top of the stitch, yarn over, come out. One, two, three, yarn over, go through all three. Definitely makes uh, crocheting a little bit faster since you get to just slip through all three of them. And we're gonna do this stitch until our piece measures nine inches and that's nine inches from the bottom all the way up. So just keep going around, oh, whoops. Look at that, I forgot to put my beginning of round. That's okay. If you forget to put your beginning of round like I do, um, I do it frequently. All you have to do is, here's my last back post. So I know this is my beginning of round. Also, if you forget um, and you don't have a back post like that to tell you, look where your tail is and then go up that, that way. But there we go, beginning around, now I know. Like I said, I'm gonna do this for nine stitches, or ooh, for nine inches. Um, and you're gonna do the same for small and medium. After we do this for nine inches, um, we have to start decreasing to create the top of the hat. Um, and there's different decreases for the size small and the size large. So I'm gonna break that up and I will show you guys that once I get to that point. So when finish up this section, when you guys are all ready, just come back to the video. I will have the timestamps down below um, so that you can just jump to the section you need. And I'll see you soon. Welcome back. Um, so I have completed my nine inches um, and it's time to start the decreases. Um, before we go any for further, I just want to say that, you know, this hat is customizable. So if you want it to be slouchier, you can definitely make it a little bit longer. Um, if you want it more fitted, you can try it on and you can shorten it. It really is up to you. Um, nine inches is standard for a hat and that's why it's in the pattern that I wrote. But really, I mean, you can make it as short, as tall as you want. Um, so get to the length that you want. Nine inches is standard, that's what I have in the pattern. So get to that length um, and then let's do the decreases. So the small size and the large size have different decreases. So what I'm gonna do first is show you how to do a half double crochet two together. And then I'm gonna go through the pattern just so you know which one to do. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is how to do the half double crochet together. I'm gonna put that aside. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off like you're gonna do a half double crochet. So you're gonna go in and you're gonna pull out and you're gonna have your three loops. And then you're going to just ignore them and you're going to start into a new stitch. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, 
come up and now you have five loops. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to yarn over and you're gonna pull through all five. It really is just that easy. And what that does is you can see it pulls these two stitches and it turns it into a one stitch. And so it really is you know, decreasing two stitches into one. Let me go over that again. I'm gonna pull this out. Finish the stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna go into my stitch, yarn over, come out of my stitch, one, two, three. And then instead of finishing that stitch, we're not gonna finish it. I'm going to yarn over, go into the next stitch. So here's the stitch I'm in now. I'm going into the next one, yarn over, come out of that stitch. So I have five, one, two, three, four, five loops. Then I yarn over and I go through all five of those loops. There you go. And then I can continue. And see, it just pulls it a little bit. So it kind of pulls it in a little bit, but it's kind of unnoticeable. It doesn't leave any holes, which is exactly what we don't want. We don't want any holes in our hat. Um, and we're gonna continue this, um, these decreases until you only have a certain amount. So I'm going to talk about the size small and then the size large, um, and I will put the timestamps down below so that you can skip to the size that you want. Welcome back, this is the size small decreases. Um, so I'm gonna show that to you right now, how to do that pattern. Um, if you need to learn how to do the decrease, it's a little bit earlier in the video. So go ahead and review that. Right now I'm just talking through the pattern and how we're gonna do it. All right, so this is my beginning of round. Um, and it says in the pattern, half double crochet in the next four stitches. So I'm gonna do a half double crochet. This is one. I'm gonna put my beginning of round right there so I know. Two, three, four. Okay, and now it says in parentheses, half double crochet two together, comma, half double crochet in the next two stitches and repeat that 12 times. So what that means is we're going to do a half a double crochet two together. So to review that, we start like a regular half double and then we continue to making a second half double, have the five loops and then we close it all up. And then I'm going to do half double in two is creeping up on me. So that's one, two. Then we're gonna repeat that again. So this is a three stitch repeat. So we're gonna do our half double two together. Pull it all through and then half double, half double and then half double two together. Oops. Half double, half double. So you're gonna do that to the end of the round. Uh, actually, you're gonna do that 12 times and then you're gonna half double the last two stitches. That's gonna be your end of round. And then the next um, row, the next round, you're gonna do the half double in the first next stitch and then half double two together. Repeat that. Um, and then you're gonna do a half double two together for the entire round until you have seven, um, you're gonna do that twice until you have seven stitches remaining. And then I will show you guys how to close off that crown and to weave in your ends. Um, so that's how you follow the repeat. Um, again, really nice decreases, doesn't leave any holes. And that's exactly what we want. Um, so 
Finish up your decreases and then I will show you guys how to cinch the top and finish your hat. Welcome back. This is the decrease section for the size large. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys um, how to do the repeats in this. I've already shown how to do the half double two together a little bit earlier in the video. So go check it out. Um, I will review it here, but I'll go through it quickly. Um, so for the size large, it says in parentheses to half double crochet in the next two stitches and then do a half double decrease together. And I'm going to repeat that for the entire round. So um, if anything's in parentheses, that means that's a repeat. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm at the beginning of round. I'm going to half double. This is my first stitch. So I'm going to put my stitch marker right there to remind me. Then I do another half double. So half double into the next two stitches and then a half double decrease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my half double and then start my next half double into the next stitch. There we are. And then I have the five loops and I'm going to yarn over and go through all of them. And I'm going to continue that. So this is a three stitch um, repeat this round. So I'm going to do a half double, half double, and then the half double decrease. I'm going to do that the entire round. Look at that. Really nice decreases. No holes in your hat, which is really nice. Um, and then in the next round, it's a um, half double in the next stitch and then a half double two together. So you're going to repeat that. And then you're just going to half double two together for two rounds until you have eight stitches remaining. And then I will show you guys how to cinch the top shut. So you have a really nice, uh, no holes in, the, in it and it's really nice and closed. Um, so skip forward. So when you're done with your decreases, skip forward and I will show you how to do that. All right, so I've gotten to my final decreases and it's time to cinch the top of the hat. So what I'm going to do with this last stitch, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull it through that stitch all the way through and create a little knot there to keep it in place. Then I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to thread the yarn through. Now how you do that is you just take the yarn and you pinch it over the eye of the needle and then with that pinch section, you just kind of push it through the eye and then grab it. And then you're just going to fold it in half like that. Just leave a little tail. Don't knot it. Um, that's going to make it a lot harder. So just fold it over. It'll stay in place pretty much. All right. Here is my top. And I'm just going to start weaving into my stitches. So weaving in and out of my stitches. And once I get through all of them, I'm going to cinch this tight shut. just like that. So pull it through. Don't pull it too hard. Don't break the yarn. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. And as you can see, there's no hole, um, but I'm not done yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to go into the middle and I'm going to bring it through to the inside of the hat. I'm going to turn my hat inside out. Now there's a couple of ways you can secure this. Um, you can either put a knot here. I personally don't really like knots in my hats because I can feel them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew it through my stitches to secure this tail.
There we go. And just make sure that that doesn't come out again. I'm going to make a little bit of a wider circle around. That should be good. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to clip this. I forgot my scissors. So um, just clip this right there. And then I'm gonna come to this end here. This is where we have our tail from the beginning. And then we have this opening here from when we made our connection. We're gonna close that up with this tail. So again, I'm going to thread my needle. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna go through the top here. Bring that in. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm going to, I'm just gonna go in and out of this little column here. And then I will snip that when I get my scissors back. And there you go. You have a finished hat. How exciting. Well, congrats on your finished hat. I'm sure it looks lovely. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email us or drop a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed making my basic hat and learning new techniques along the way. Um, happy making.